London, baby. London, baby. London, baby. London, baby. Vlog. Today's my first day in London. It is Friday, November 11th. It's a holiday in France. So I came to London for the long weekend. I'm going to be here for the next few days. I'm so excited. I have only been to London once in my life. I went with my family the summer of 2014 and I'm so excited to be back. I got in last night and Miriam and I made a whole itinerary for the next few days and we're literally going to see everything. So I'm so excited for this vlog. But yeah, I got in last night. I went straight after work and I took the Eurostar between Paris and London to get here. I actually saw Princess Beatrice, which I fangirled over and I feel like no one else cares. But I have always like been interested in the lesser known royals because I feel like they have like such interesting lives because like they're not known about. So I love knowing about them. And she was right there, right in front of me. I was in line for food and she came like right in front of me to look at the food options and they had nothing. So then she went somewhere else and after I got my food, I kind of like followed her and then I saw her again and I took pictures because I was like, I need proof. They suck because I took pictures when she wasn't looking. But then she she comes out of the store with her like chips and she was right in front of me and I was and then we both walked together to go look for a seat. I found one, she didn't. So then she went to like a little area and just like sat down by herself to eat her chips. And then I went to go throw out my food wrappers and I passed right by her cause she was sitting really close to the garbage. And I like heard her on the phone on the FaceTime with um, someone British and I was like, then she went on her train, I went on my train, and now it is my first day. For my first day, Miriam is doing something for school from 10 a.m. to either 1 or 3. She's not sure if she has to stay for the last two hours. So I am going to go visit a bunch of Harry Potter locations because I don't want to drag her to that, but I am a huge fan of Harry Potter. So just warning you, this is as much a London vlog as it will be a Harry Potter vlog. So today I have some Harry Potter locations that I'm going to check out. I'm going to check out four locations, and then I'm going to do a the fifth one on Sunday and then the rest of the time Miriam and I are gonna see so much of London but it is almost 10 a.m. right now so I should really get going with my day. I am so excited to be in London. I'm so excited to be vlogging this entire trip. I hope you are excited to come along with me over the next few days and let's go to Diagon Alley. location. This is Leadenhall Market, if that's how you say it. And it's where they filmed Diagon Alley in the first movie. And it so looks like it. So this front like entranceway is where Harry and Hagrid were walking. And then the rest of it just totally gives off Diagon Alley vibes. Like it's very thin and the like roads are kind of twisty turny. And it's so pretty. It's so cool to see. At my second Harry Potter location. If you're a fan, can you tell where I am? This is so cool. I feel like this is cooler than Diagon Alley because the like market where it was filmed, they obviously transformed it so much, but this looks exactly like it did in the movie. This is so cool. There have been so many people walking by this little street and I'm like so embarrassed to be vlogging because it's just like a regular residential street. I actually saw a mom with her baby enter the house, like the exact house where they filmed and like her husband came to help her with the stroller. And I'm like, I'm so sorry for filming your house, but this is so cool. Wait, I didn't even say where I am. 
Yeah, this is Grimald Place. This is where they film the exterior shots of Grimald Place, which is the Order of the Phoenix headquarters in the fifth movie. And I figured out which house they filmed at because when you just Google it, they tell you Claremont Square, but Claremont Square is a square. So I figured out the exact house. It is number 26 Claremont Square, between 26 and 25. This one's 26, this one's 25. So Grimald Place appears right in the middle of them. Unfortunately, 26 is under construction right now. So it doesn't really look that nice. This is also the one where the family just entered and then there's people doing renovations here and they've like come in and out. There we go. And then behind me, this is the gate where they come out from the movie. Like they fly into this little park area. Right now it's a hill, but in the movie it's a park. And then they open this gate and they cross the street and stand right there. And then also in some shots, you can see like the whole street and they show this little area. So they show it from this angle, but it's flipped in the movie I'm realizing now. And in the movie, there was like a little archway here, but this is under construction. So I think they've taken it out now. But yeah, this is grim old place. It looks exactly the same. It's so cool. Right here is where Daniel Radcliffe stood. On my way to Hyde Park, but I actually had to transfer metro lines at King's Cross, so I decided to get out and explore because obviously King's Cross is the station where the Harry Potter characters board the train to Hogwarts and they have a whole like platform nine and three quarters thing set up here. I did it back in 2014 with my family, it's so cool. And they also have a platform nine and three quarters like Harry Potter merch store, so I'm gonna go in that and check it out because I don't remember that from 2014. Hyde Park. I took the tube here from King's Cross and when I got here I realized that I'm like right here. Hyde Park is on this side and Buckingham Palace is on this side and I want to go to both. So right now I'm going to do a loop of Hyde Park. I looked on the map and there's like a little river that runs through it. So I'm going to walk halfway to the river and then there's a little bridge and then I'm going to walk back and then I'm going to go to Buckingham Palace. It would have been better if I could have walked the entire park to Buckingham Palace but I was right in the middle of them. So I'm doing Hyde Park first and it's so gorgeous right now. The sun is so pretty. It's kind of like golden hour even though it's like one in the afternoon but the autumn leaves are just so pretty and I'm sitting here on a bench eating some lunch. I was low-key like fading. I did not feel that great. I don't know why. Maybe I had too small of lunch and it's really hot in the tubes. It's much hotter than the metros in Paris and the tube is so small compared to the metro in Paris so I wasn't really feeling well after that tube ride and I got to Hyde Park and I was like okay well now I'm gonna walk an entire park for who knows how long it's gonna take me and I was like oh I should have picked up food before I like walk the entire park but then I rounded the corner to start my walk and there was a little like cafe thing right there so I got a sandwich this is cheddar red onion lettuce tomato I hope it's good and then I got peach iced tea my favorite so I'm just gonna eat on this bench with this gorgeous view and appreciate the fact that I'm in London right now It was so beautiful. I'm so happy I went. I was so at peace there. It was literally stunning. And now I'm on my way to Buckingham Palace. I'm gonna meet up with Miriam because her class is done. So I'm walking down this long path to the palace where the queen no longer lives. Rest in peace. We're 
were just sitting on the steps in front of Buckingham Palace, casual, just catching up on our days. It's like already nighttime right now. We just experienced a nice little pretty sunset and now it's dark. What time is it? It's 4.22. We sun love that. Like 4 <laughs> love that. So yeah, we've just been sitting for a little bit, chatting, and now we're going to head to Piccadilly Circus, Oxford Street, Regent Street, that whole area. One, because it is a little Harry Potter location. Two, because it's super cool and there are gonna be lots of Christmas lights out and three because there's cool stores and we're gonna have dinner there as well so that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the day we changed our plan just a little bit because it's a little late right now we thought we would have time for a lot more so we changed our plan a little bit so I'm saving my last Harry Potter location for Sunday Location number four. This is Piccadilly Circus slash Shaftesbury Avenue, which is where the trio operates after Voldemort takes over the ministry in Deathly Hallows Part One. I'm such a nerd right now, but they operate into Piccadilly Circus, and I'm pretty sure it was the first time, one of the only times um, they've ever let people film at Piccadilly Circus because you're usually not allowed. They had like this big Times Square scene in the movie, and then they go down Shaftesbury Avenue, and Emma Watson has a line where she says where they are. So we're pretty sure it's that road. So we're gonna go see it. Where are we? we? Shaftesbury Avenue. Avenue. I used to come to the theater with mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> going to spend our Friday night watching Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because we watched three, four, five when Miriam was in Paris and now we're gonna watch six, seven, eight while I'm in London. <laughs> All right, day two in London. It's Saturday, November 12th and the first stop on our list for today is Notting Hill. I watched Notting Hill last year actually for a school project. I'm so excited to see it in person. I know it's gonna be so pretty, so let's go. Portobello Road Market and now we're gonna walk the other half we're gonna find somewhere to have lunch and we're gonna check out all of the roads that have multicolored houses this yeah. is the first one we stumbled upon We're at 
at lunch right now in Notting Hill. We're eating at this place called Dales Ford Organic. It's a food place where everything is organic from the Dales Ford farm. And they're like, we just checked, like they're like famous on Instagram. <laughs> so we're somewhere cool. But yeah, we're just taking a little lunch break and then we're gonna keep exploring Notting Hill. So far, we've walked like so much of the Portobello Road market and we're still not at the end. It's literally the biggest market I've ever seen in my life. It is insane. Like the road is never ending either way. And we've seen a few colored houses and we're gonna see more after lunch and then take some pictures, of course. We're just exploring Notting Hill and then we're gonna head back to London. London Bridge. The sun just started to set, so it's really pretty. You can see Tower Bridge over there, and then this is the Shard Building, and then here's the sunset. London. We're heading out right now to our breakfast. We booked Sketch London. You've definitely seen pictures of their bathroom. It's super popular so we decided to book it for brunch this morning or it's really breakfast because our reservation's at 10 a.m. But the room looks gorgeous. I'm so excited to go. And then the rest of the day we have some plans to go around London again, see all of the sights, and we're gonna see one last Harry Potter location which <laughs> was in our movie last night so I'm very excited for that. London boy, Camden Market in the afternoon. I want to make a TikTok to it. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. Sitting 
in your room Working on my first record Skip to the present And I still haven't released it But it's okay Cause the new songs are way better That's what it feels like which means the sun has set and it's nighttime. And we're walking towards like Big Ben, London Eye area. We're passing through Trafalgar Square. I've never been here and I didn't really know what it was, but it's so pretty. There's a big monument in the middle and then there are some fountains. And then over here we have some Christmas lights, the National Gallery, some little stands. It's so cozy. final Harry Potter location. This is Scotland Place in Great Scotland Yard. This is where the Ministry of Magic is in Order of the Phoenix and Deathly Hallows Part 1. In Order of the Phoenix, Harry and Mr. Weasley cross over here. They pass this archway with this building in the back and there is a red telephone booth right here that they go into to go to the Ministry of Magic, but it's very different in the film. We were just re-watching the scene. There's like another arch right here in the movie, so we're kind of confused whether it was just different that many years ago or whether they built it and then this is the more recognizable location this is where Ron is in Deathly Hallows part one when they kind of kidnap those ministry workers in order to change into them so Ron is standing right here there's a scene where he like puts his hands here and like looks over which I'm going to recreate this picture and when Harry Ron and Hermione have transformed into those ministry workers they peek their heads out of here and this arch and this building is in the background Uh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Big Ben, are you okay? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Monday, November 14th. It's my last day in London. It's my last hour in London. Miriam and I are at King's Cross right now before my train leaves at 8 p.m. I worked remotely today and Miriam had school so I didn't really vlog because we really didn't do anything interesting. We went for breakfast and we had our lunch break together and now we're having dinner at King's Cross. We went to Giraffe, which is a restaurant that I remember going to like three times when my family came in 2014. So I wanted to come back here, see if it's still good. I got nachos, which looks so good. Good, and a strawberry banana smoothie. I got the hoisin duck salad. And here is King's Cross. You can see the timetable right there, and then the nine and three quarters is like right there. <laughs> 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 
it's time to leave. Paris. 801. 801. That's me. Bye, friend. Thank you for coming. It was so much fun. Bye, guys. <laughs> this is the end of the London vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along. I can't wait to come back to London now that I live right next to it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.